Now, as the Democrats rush to discredit our democracy, GOP leaders are fighting back. Today, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy sent House Speaker Nancy Pelosi a letter demanding she end impeachment inquiries until, quote, equitable rules and procedures are put in place. And our next guest also filed an amicus brief in federal court today contesting the legality of the entire inquiry. Congressman Doug Collins arguing the House must vote before the process begins, which did not happen here. Ken Starr raised that issue last night. Joining me now, Congressman Doug Collins, ranking member of the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman, how can the Democrats run a credible investigation without Republicans really involved? Well, they can't, Laura. This is the part, and I'm, just, I, I'm at the point. I'm just, I'm, I've had it. I've been nine months of this. I've been in the Judiciary Committee watching Jerry Nadler and his happy band of majority run roughshod over rules. They don't care about the rules. They want one thing at the end of the day, and that is to impeach this president. They've wanted to do it since November of 2016, and that's why when we've been talking about fairness, and at the end of the day, people understand fairness. They may disagree with this president. They may not even like this president, but they understand when you have a Speaker of the House who refuses to bring. The the inquiry to the floor. Why does that matter? Because if she made her uh, Democrats vote for an inquiry and they started a true inquiry, then actually we in the minority have rights. Myself would have subpoena power in the Judiciary Committee, just like Chairman Nadler would. The president could actually weigh in with his team to say, actually be accused. Isn't that a unique concept, Laura? In America, we actually believe that people have due process rights. But this speaker is running roughshod over the House, and it's got to stop. This is a travesty, and it's affecting the institution of the House. It's affecting how people, as I laid out in the angle, Congressman, how people view our, our democratic republic, how people view the press, how people uh, you know, view the entire concept of fairness, the president being hamstrung in his ability to conduct foreign policy. I'm sorry, but the China, North Korea, the way they look at all this, this is, they don't care one whit about how this affects our economy or anything else. It's about tearing down this president, ripping him out of office by any means necessary. And I got to ask you, Nancy Pelosi gave an interview on ABC where I think she revealed, perhaps unwittingly, what's really going on. Watch. The re-election of Donald Trump would do irreparable damage to the United States. This, that we have some serious repair and healing to do in our country for what he's done so far. I don't, I'm not sure that two terms, it might be irreparable. Two, okay, so that, that's it, right? I mean, we can't risk the people voting for peace and prosperity. Cannot risk it. You know, it is amazing to me that Speaker Pelosi has such little faith in the American people. If she was right, if she had an agenda, if she believed that the Democratic Party candidates for president were actually on the right track, actually sharing the right message, then why is she so skeptical of the American people actually voting for what they believe is the right ideas? The problem is she knows that Donald Trump is a, uh, connecting with American people. He did it in 2016. We're going to see it again next year. And what they're seeing from her is simply a wanting to overturn an election because the next election they're scared of. What is causing irreparable damage is her second term as Speaker. This is her second time around as Speaker. What did we get the first time? We got Obamacare. We got all kinds of things that we're now having to still dig out of. What Shovel are we trying ready. to do now? Yeah, it, it is. It's, it's all just shovel terrible. ready. Yeah. Oh, is, oh, yeah, shovel yeah. ready. Her, no, what shovel ready is what she's spreading to the American people about what they're doing with this impeachment inquiry. That's shovel ready because it's not anywhere close. She's lying to the American people. That's why our amicus brief was filed. If they wanted this information, they know they have to. They're yeah, telling they're, the people one thing and not. Uh, Congressman, Fox News has confirmed, just confirmed, that the president will send Pelosi a letter tomorrow, that the White House is going to ignore Democrat demands until the House formally approves impeachment proceedings. Uh, he's daring her to hold an impeachment vote. Good move. Oh, I think what you're going to have to have is, is there, you know who's scared right now? About 30 or 40 Democrats in seats that President Trump won. Good. They're going to have to actually go on record now and say, look, Ms. Pelosi, Speaker Pelosi, if you want to take us down this path, then you're recognizing that you're putting in jeopardy the House majority that you won last year on a platform of you were going to do something for the American people. You're going to do trade. You're going to do infrastructure. You're going to do prescription drug prices. You've done none of that except attack this president. And also, at the same time, by the way, take the rules of the House and throw them in the trash can. This is the problem that we're having right now. If you want to do it properly, if you want to do it by the book, then do that. But Speaker Pelosi, Chairman Nadler, Chairman Schiff, who hasn't found it, I mean, I can't, he can't spell truth, much less tell it. 
And when we understand this, this is the problem we're seeing right now. They are destroying the institution of the House, and everyone, Republicans, Democrats, and Independents, ought to be aggrieved yep. by that. All those swing district Democrats, got to tell you, you said you were going to be fair and you're going to work with Republicans. You've shown your true colors here. Congressman, thank you very much. It's great to have you on tonight.